Tally ho there champs and welcome to the show. I hope you're all doing well out there. Now let's compare the XPS 15 versus the MacBook Pro in a performance test. I've already compared the last generation XPS 15 versus the MacBook Pro and, and now I just have to add the scores of the new XPS 15. Now I've done a lot of videos on this new XPS 15, you might want to check them out, gaming reviews, reviews compared to the MacBook Pro, I've done a lot of videos so I'll leave a link to a playlist at all those if you want to check those out. I also have the Full HD XPS 15 in the house and if you want to see a screen comparison between the two and also a comparison between gaming benchmarks between the two, give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down there and if people are interested I'll definitely make a video on that. So let's get into the benchmark scores and compare the new XPS 15 to the 15 inch MacBook Pro. This MacBook Pro does have the Radon 455. It doesn't have the 460, which is a four gigabyte version. There's not that much difference between the two. So you can expect a single figure performance difference between the two. And also this has the 2.7 gigahertz Skylake CPU. It is what it is. So let's go to Cinebench. Okay, so there you can see the Cinebench scores. And what you can see in the Cinebench score is, is that the new XPS 15 is 7% faster than the MacBook Pro on CPU score. It's 8% faster than the old XPS 15 and the GPU scores there, OpenGL. It's 14% faster than the Mac and it's 11% faster than the old XPS 15. Let's move on to Geekbench. There you can see the scores between the old XPS 15 and the new MacBook Pro. And now you'll see the new XPS 15 score and you'll see that it's 6% faster than the XPS 15 in single core and 4% faster in multi-core. And when it comes to the Mac, it's 24% faster than the Mac in single core. So that's surprising. And it's also 9% faster than the MacBook Pro in the multi-core score. Now moving on to Geekbench OpenCL test and it is 35% faster than the old XPS 15 and it's 33% faster than the Mac so that's a big jump there. Unigen Heaven at 1050p and of course all of these apps are run natively on Mac OS X or Windows. I've done that because they're exactly the same apps just on different operating systems and this is where it gets very interesting. You'll see that the new XPS 15 is 112% faster than the Mac in Unigen Heaven same settings and it's 41 percent faster than the old xps 15. so as i've said with my review of the xps 15 expect anywhere from 20 35 even up to 40 percent here faster than the old xps 15. and yeah again let me know in the comments give me a thumbs up if you want to see a comprehensive gaming frames per second video difference between the old xps 15 and the new one so other than that when i compared the old xps 15 to the new macbook pro it absolutely smashed it at all these other games like rocket league csgo and civ 4 like i could not even get 20 frames per second at 1050p whereas i could play 4k at better frame rates on the old xps 15 it just gets worse with the new xps 15 i'm not even going to bother to compare gaming because the Mac can't game and it's just poor in general with 3D. I'm not going to compare it in boot camp because why would you buy a Mac if you're going to just run it in boot camp? Makes no sense to me. Other people have done it. If you look at Snazzy Lab's review of the MacBook Pro 15 inch, he says even in boot camp it doesn't game that well. So check out his review if you want to see that. But it is what it is. Definitely the XPS 15 is faster. The old one and the new one is faster than the MacBook Pro. And I have a video on the rendering test so you, so you can check out rendering times if you want between the MacBook Pro and the old XPS 15. And for what it's worth, the new XPS 15 does not render significantly faster than the old XPS 15. I mean, there's only seconds different, more or less the same, but it does play the content back a lot better with even color corrections with the new XPS 15 over the old one and the Mac, just forget about it. In Final Cut, it renders fast, but then again, you can get Windows software that renders faster than Final Cut. So just the Mac is not a great performer compared to the XPS 15. So anyway guys, I'd like to thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? I've got lots more videos coming soon, especially with the XPS 15. And until next time guys, tally ho.